Pussy Mama. What's the high school today? Hey, nothing much. Just finishing up this project in science class. Let me peep that one time. Project is blank. You don't have nothing on it. I know. I'm just in the process of brainstorming, all right? I'm, all right, all right. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. What's the assignment? Uh, innovations in communication through technology and education and business or something like that. Yeah, we're doing that right now. Doing what? And with technology. No, we ain't. We just chatting on FaceTime. Oh, you know how many engineers, computer programmers use science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to create video chatting technology just so I can help your goofy self face to face through our cell phone? Hmm. Is there any spots in Pittsburgh that we can go with software and engineering? How about Bakery Square? The office building there is home to some of the most high tech companies in Pittsburgh. I'm sure they could give us some information. Meet me there in 20 minutes. What they said was that you can learn a lot more about people by their facial expressions. This is a huge part of communication. It's also, it also makes it easier for people from all over the world to collaborate together on projects. Companies are using video conferencing for interviews and troubleshooting. The web search company we talked to has offices all over the world. The one engineer was able to have a meeting with a co-worker in Germany in California at the same time. Any problems with it? Well, you have to watch what you wear. You can't show up to a video conference and look in a mess. One problem they mention is connectivity. If you have slow or no internet, it will be hard to video conference. Another problem is different programs don't necessarily connect with each other. I can't call you from my Google Hangout on your FaceTime. That was a great conference, but I still need to know a little bit more on how video conferencing is in education purposes. And our school uses video conferencing. Let's go see what they have to say. Okay. You just need to um, get a. Um, so you, you use um, face chatting frequently, correct? Video. Oh yes, video conferencing. Um, this week we actually have three of them. So how does video conferencing increase educational values and purposes? Um, it connects the students on a global level to kids. We do some video conferencing with Northern Ireland, so they realize even though those students are like 3,000 miles away, that they still have a lot in common with them. So it introduces them to like a whole new world. And we're also video conferencing with um, Nebraska, where everything is like very rural and farmland, and we're here in the city and very urban. And they start to realize that they still have connections with students that are you know, completely different than they are. So it's really cool. Puts on another paper clip, grabs the dongle, and show them that it connects. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gregory, and I like motorbikes. The East on Friday, we were doing some student teaching. The kids were teaching the kindergartners, and we did um, the magic tricks that we learned through video conferencing, and we taught those to the kindergartners, two different classrooms, and the kids were just like spot on, knew exactly what they were doing showed the kindergartners without any of my help so it was super awesome to see it like actually working and clicking with them and they were able to teach it to someone else which means they really learned it. it gives them the chance to meet up with kids globally so let's see do you have enough information for your project yeah i think i do okay just facetime me anytime i will okay see ya thanks girl